Hello, and good morning. Today's topic is otherness. The most precious gift that marriage gave me was the constant impact of something very close and intimate, yet all the time unmistakably other resistant. In a real word, real. C.S. Lewis. Preserving the otherness of our love mate or work partner or child, rather than requiring that that person become more like ourselves, is essential to healthy relationship. Diversity is a sign of a healthy ecological system, be it a two-sum or a many-sum. If we lose otherness, the entire system erodes, rather than evolves, and is threatened. Unmistakably other is how C.S. Lewis describes it, not another version of the self, or a screen onto which we project parts of ourselves, or an object, but someone outside, different, at times distant, always distinct, Another subject, other. As we grow in self-confidence, we can appreciate others for who they are and not need to change them for our benefit. Today, I celebrate otherness. Animals and plants are other than humans. Women are other than men. Night is other than day. I will allow the otherness of such realities to influence who I am today and what I do. Today, I celebrate otherness. Animals and plants are other than humans. Women are other than men. Night is other than day. I will allow the otherness of such realities to influence who I am today and what I do. Hmm, otherness, so interesting. <clears throat> Let's begin the meditation. Take a comfortable seat. Make sure the uh, base of your spine is upright and all going straight up to the crown of your head, allowing the golden shaft of light in life to go up and down that, that space. Get in touch with your breath. Inhale, let. Exhale, go. Inhale, let. And exhale, go. As you sit in meditation, just allow whatever thoughts come in and observe them and let them go out. And again, place your hands wherever they are comfortable for you. Gently close your eyes. And I will begin the one minute meditation. Okay, take a deep breath in, exhale peace, gently open your eyes, take another deep breath in, and exhale peace, otherness, hmm. it's nice to be alone, it's safe to be alone. and be other than someone else. That is what attracts people in the first place, right? So as you go about your day, celebrate the otherness of you, celebrate the otherness of other people, even the ones that um, irritate you or upset you. Uh, celebrate their otherness, whatever uh, it is that um, upsets you or distracts you or 
just enjoy it. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.